what happened to me didn't defeat me. A decision to watch runners cross the finish line at the Boston Marathon changed her life forever. Instead of focusing on why she was hurt, she's choosing to spend her time paying it forward. It was something I never imagined I would ever do. I don't know if you would have been able to guess this. I wouldn't have. Tomorrow marks three years yeah. since the Boston Marathon bombing. Two bombs went off, killing three people and hurting more than 260 others. Among them was Heather Abbott, who lost her left leg. And now she travels the country sharing strategies she used to survive and how you can apply them to challenges in your life. Heather Abbott is greeted with a round of applause as she takes the stage in Windsor. This is my very first time in Ontario. She was invited to speak at the Westby Awards. She travels a lot, sharing her story about what happened to her on April 15th of 2013. That's the day of the Boston Marathon bombing. She has a tradition with six friends to go to Boston, catch the Red Sox game, then watch runners finish the Boston Marathon. Three years ago, she was waiting in line to get into a restaurant near the finish line. And I heard a loud explosion. Before I had a chance to even say something to the person next to me to ask what they thought it was, uh, the second ex explosion occurred. It landed on the ground. I was um, sh shocked. I didn't know what had happened. There was blood everywhere. There was um, glass shattered around me, and people were just running for the exits. I, I can't get up and run like everybody else is doing. Um, I could die here. But Heather didn't die there. A woman stopped to help her, and she was taken by ambulance to the hospital. My entire heel was blown off, and doctors were trying to determine whether or not it was salvageable. After several surgeries, doctors recommended Heather have her left leg amputated below the knee. It was a very difficult decision. I was really feeling pretty sorry for myself. And saying a lot of what ifs and why me's. But when Heather speaks to audiences, she shares the three strategies she developed to help her survive. The first was to recognize what she couldn't change moving forward. People go through difficult things. Now mine happened to be becoming an amputee and not knowing anything about what it was like to be an amputee um, and having to rely on other people to, to show me and help me understand and provide hope for me. Her second strategy, relying on other people. She credits visits from U.S. veterans who lost limbs in Iraq and Afghanistan with helping her to make her decision, showing her she could live a full life as an amputee. I actually have six different prostheses and um, they allow me to do everything that I did before I lost my leg. With her prosthesis, she can wear high heels, run, and paddleboard. I was very lucky that the Boston One Fund was established um, shortly after I was hurt, and people donated over $81 million to the fund. That money helped Heather, but she discovered a problem during her recovery. Most insurance companies will cover their, the initial um, basic prostheses to walk with, but anything else like running or um, wearing high heels, um, something that's waterproof, those are all specialized prostheses that are typically not covered by health insurance in the U.S. That's where strategy three comes in, seizing the opportunity to pay it forward. So it was really important to me to find a way to kind of make sense of what happened to me. She created the Heather Abbott Foundation, providing customized prosthesis to people who have lost limbs through a traumatic experience. I think a lot of them see that bill from their um, prosthesis, you know, $20,000 or $50,000 for the leg that they want to run again or um, bike again, and they think it's just not possible. The first um, prosthesis we gave out was a young woman who's 26. Um, she had never been able to wear high heels in her life, and that's all she wanted. To be able to give her a realistic-looking high heel leg was incredible, and she was so happy. 